So how is it to be an international student in Turkey? Maybe you want to study in Turkey or you're already studying here and wanted to know all about studying in Turkey as an international student? Then it's a great place for you because in this video I'm going to discuss how is it to study here, cons, pros, just my opinion because currently I'm studying in Turkey in Istanbul as an Erasmus student. I had already some good experience and bad experience and I'm gonna share it with you. Some general information about studying in Turkey. Turkey became actually a very popular destination for Erasmus students. It has already received around 40,000 of Erasmus students, mostly from Germany, and I'm studying in Austria, so most of the students come from Germany to Turkey. Also, Turkish students go to Germany mostly or to Poland for Erasmus exchange. Overall, Turkey has around 170,000 of international students. It includes also Erasmus students and normal student with a full-time program. 82% prefer to stay in Turkey after studies. It also relates more to people who study here for a full program, because Erasmus students usually leave to complete their program in the home country. Overall, Turkey has around 200 universities across the country, and these universities are offering 58 study programs, which include bachelor, master, and PhD. As an Erasmus student, you can come um, for your bachelor or your master degree. This year, a special year, because of pandemic, we receive less students. For example, my university has only one-third of all Erasmus students, which normally come every year. On average, Turkey receives around 10,000 of applications for Erasmus exchange every year. So currently the situation is different and so we also study online. Although I'm here in Turkey, in Istanbul, all classes are happening online. Sadly, I never met my colleagues, my classmates. I only saw him in the video calls and most of the time we even don't have a video, we just have our names and audio and so also teachers I haven't met them we all teach us online and with of course video so at least I can see them. My university is very international it's private university and students are tend to be also more international and business administration which I'm studying. People come not only from Turkey there are a lot of people from Middle East from also South America and Europe are studying here and quality is actually really good so with that said let's jump to pros of studying in Turkey as an international student is that quality is good. The Turkish education is almost on the same level than European education and maybe already in the same level. We at least also introduced the Bologna system and all education in Turkey is recognizable in the European Union. And this, what you just heard, it's like somebody every day comes here and plays the song. It means something, probably the gas we sell on the streets. And once in a day there are a guy with bread comes and screaming in the street because he sells bread when he passes houses. So life in Turkey it's noisy. So also I have to mention because of this situation student life is different. We don't go to campus, we don't organize events, we don't travel. Usually it's all organized by university. You have a lot of fun of course. You are with your classmates every day. You hang out in the coffee shops at university. So usually student life is here very uh, vibrant and especially in Istanbul. Istanbul it's a huge uh, student city. The another benefit of studying in Turkey and pro of studying in Turkey that we have a lot of programs in English, which include also bachelor programs. It's not only master programs. The education is affordable. The quality, as I mentioned, is really good. It's pretty much also very cheap for students to live here. The cost of living is one of the cheapest in the world currently because of uh, the rate, exchange rate, is um, disadvantaging for local currency. So you will receive more local currency, Turkish lira, for your dollar or euro. You will have more money to live here. So basically the standards of living here are good and usually it's more expensive to live here. But because you receive more Turkish lira for your uh, foreign currency, you can afford more and you can live good lifestyle here for around 500 euro per month to have an apartment, to go out, the food is cheap, drinks are cheap. So you can really enjoy here your student life for a small budget. Additionally, when you do your Erasmus exchange, you will 
receive a scholarship from your home university. It depends, uh, I think, also in your country, but uh, I received around 400 euro per month. So uh, you also have this money to spend here and it's enough actually to live good life. The next benefit of studying in Turkey is also to be a tourist. We as a students, we like to explore places, to go places. It's affordable to travel here. There are a lot of stuff to do, a lot of stuff to see. It's very diverse. It's so much history here. Even in Istanbul, you will never get bored. You will always have some things to see here, to do. It's very, very adventurous, interesting, and it's just bustling and hustling and it's never boring. Actually, universities here also provide good on-campus facilities. They are modern, so if you go there, you will see that they are not like in Soviet Union. They are in a high level and they offer also like a lot of entertainment in their campuses. They have coffee shops and restaurants, you can hang out. So it's very nice and very good quality, as I say. You will never get bored in Turkey because it's not like Europe. Maybe sometimes in Europe on Sunday you will see that there are nothing's going on. But in Turkey it's not the case and there are always things are open. You will always have some, some good meals, some drinks and it's just always life here. And in regard to food, again, you can have different kind of foods and also for different kind of budget. You can eat very affordable like street food and street food is also very very diverse here from kebab to mussels to fish sandwich to meat sandwich to the ice cream it's just amazing so if you're really into street food turkey is great like i am i love street food i don't like to go to the restaurant to see it i want to experience the local culture the local food and this is street food and also if you like travel there are a lot of places to visit in turkey not only in istanbul where i am if you really want to see turkey there are so many cities like cappadocia feti antalya alania so these cities are more in the coast where you can also have like your holidays in the beach and see some culture and history there are so many cities in turkey i don't even know the names i'm sorry but there are just too many of them which you can visit and they have airports or you can get there by train or by bus another benefit to study in turkey is that turkish people are very welcoming to foreigners they will greet you they will welcome you they will give you some tea and coffee and for free and just to make you happy and they are very cheerful people so they don't hesitate if they don't speak English they will talk to you in some English Turkish or just to make you happy or to make some jokes and fun they are very nice people it's good that they really like foreigners also if you're studying in Istanbul you will meet a lot of people from different cultures from different countries a lot of international students here as I said and it's just a lot of foreigners who are living in Istanbul so we'll get a chance to meet many different kind of people from all over the world and this is the really nice thing about studying in Turkey so you get the chance to get to know so many people from all kind of different background and some bad things about studying in Turkey because not all uh, is roses and uh, there are also some negatives the thing that maybe if you are not in Istanbul and another part of the Turkey that people are, don't speak English that maybe you will need to learn uh, Turkish because even me myself sometimes I have this issue that someone um, who I'm interacting in the city don't speak English but then I have to use of course Google Translator but then we find a solution because I use a translator but I can imagine in some cities in Turkey that you will have to use your Google Transla Translator pretty much often and better to learn Turkish then. The next is advantage as an Erasmus student that it's quite difficult to find an apartment if you don't have a resident permit here and when you come as an Erasmus student you would not get your resident permit in the first around like two months so so you would not be able usually to rent an apartment without your resident permit but you would not have it because it takes so long you will have some troubles to find an apartment because we would not uh, allow you to do that finding an apartment can be difficult as a foreigner uh, many homeowners they don't want to rent to foreigners but if you're looking for a room there is no problem because there are all the Facebook groups where you can find the room uh, with other foreigners and they don't need any resident permit also if you are living in Istanbul 
Istanbul, it can be a little stressful because it's very crowded, very noisy. Overall, Turkey is uh, more noisy as in Europe. I'm still kind of getting used to this because I used to be in Europe and especially in Germany and Austria where it's not noisy at all and people are just not loud. Uh, so I'm not used to this culture. Also, Russians are not loud and Turkish people are very loud and cities are loud and uh, messy a bit if you kind of not used to this culture it can be a little bit uh, difficult mentally and just a little bit like culture shocking so be prepared for this if you especially move to big cities like Istanbul or Ankara the next point is that it can be hard to socialize and to get to know Turkish people if you don't know Turkish you can of course have your foreigner friends uh, from different countries but Turkish people are prefer to speak Turkish or hang out with Turks so if you want to integrate yourself fully uh, into Turkish culture you have to speak Turkish or you have to put uh, a lot of effort in it. Organization in uh, at least my university is a little bit disordered, disorganized, not really on time so I found that in Europe uh, especially in Austria where I study it's much better to support students and just to be organized because sometimes here we cancel the class and we don't have any replacement or uh, something sudden happens so usually in uh, Europe we plan everything ahead all exams are planned everything is planned uh, like months months before here still I don't know when my exam gonna be they tell us a couple of days before or weeks before and it's very unpredictable and just not planned so this is what I'm not used to and I don't like it. And this is pretty much it what I have to say about studying in Turkey as an international student. I will definitely recommend you to do here Erasmus exchange as I do, but I'm not sure about full bachelor or master program. I would consider it, but only if I really like the country and I want to really be here for such a long time, then yes. If not, really try Erasmus because it's five months, around five, six months, up to one year you can experience a lot learn a lot and uh, it would be enough for your experience i hope you find it useful and if you have some questions just comment below i will look at them and if i have answers i will answer and if you're interested in austria and germany definitely subscribe because this is our topic usually and we will get back to this next time i will see you guys next time